What's up beautiful people? This morning we've just driven back up towards the centre of the island near the capital, Arrecife, and we're visiting the house of probably the most famous person who ever lived in Lanzarote, the Spanish artist César Manrique. César Manrique was an internationally renowned artist and he spent a lot of his life over in New York. But when he came back from New York in 1966, he decided to take up permanent residence in Lanzarote and he built his house. I don't know if you can see, but it's very uneven around here. He built this house right into some lava flows that happened when some of the volcanoes in the area erupted in the 18th century. Just having a rest. The way they've like shown how he lived here, they've done it in a way that doesn't like, destroy how it originally was. I think they've really thought about it, it's very clever. They've like put pictures of him in each room that there is. But like on a cushion or on a table so that they haven't like taken away how it originally was. I love it. <gasps> this is a really cool room. So up here, this is actually the entrance and this is the main room where we looked down into when we first arrived. What's really evident, the whole time you're walking around the foundation is just how much Cesar Manrique subscribed to this idea of nature art, like having his living space, his artistic space, kind of like be this culmination of both his own architecture, but also all of the natural forces. And you, know, you can just see that with all of the plants around and the fact he's literally built directly into the lava flows. I wanna move in. <laughs> yeah, when, when can we come and live in a place like this? You can barbecue for it. Our fresco dining area. <laughs> so eccentric, isn't it? Like lots of colour, contrasting with the white. Those are egg chairs. I love he was them. ahead of his time. I know. is perhaps like the best yet. A window with this incredible view. But Manrique has built it so that the lava flow forms part of the window frame. What a brilliant place. And you learn just how much Cesar Manrique actually shaped the island of Lanzarote. So it was down to him protesting, him and a lot of other people, but he was often leading the protests against the overdevelopment of the island. And I think it's in large part down to him and his influence that the island looks how it looks today and that no one's been able to like build over a certain number of stories. It's like three stories, yeah. Three stories high is like the maximum that any building can be built on the island now. Just arrived at a place that we saw on Google Maps called the Stratified City. Um, it's an old quarry. 
had to drive like down a bit of a dirt, a dirt road track. to get yeah, here. It's not actually like a tourist hotspot, just on the side of the road. There's still like quite a few other cars that were parked up here and people walking around and clambering on all of these formations. But we There's thought- There's no like admission or anything. It's just like a natural phenomenon. Oh no, there's cracks on the ceiling. I'm getting out of here. <laughs> and it just said as she was running away, and I was still in it, that it looked like it was going to fall in. <laughs> just zigzag it. <laughs> It's not the perfect terrain for us, but it's the perfect terrain for those. I do feel like I'm in a bit of like a sci-fi film a bit of a sci-fi set. Hello! Five minutes further down the road, another Google Maps find. Apparently a very good smokehouse. La Cueva del Carnero. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> Very good sign with that being so empty. That was very empty. That was very good. I would highly recommend that. Hannah's very happy about this place that she's bought me now. I've been here before, but I still love it. What is it? It's the Cactus Garden. 6.50 each. Whoa. An exact recreation. Yeah, nailed it. Nailed it. That was a little bit of history right there. There was a photo that Hannah had taken when she came here last time that was on her Tinder pic. You swiped across when we when you first matched me and it was taken right there. My mum took it though and I was wearing these sunglasses, a flowery dress and I had a camera around my neck. So I thought very similar. Okay, these actually might be my favourite. Look how red they are. Red Yeah, I love that. I like when they've got like little flowers, look, on the top. Yeah. <gasps> Mini pineapples. <laughs> that one's drunk. Go home, you're drunk. 
having a siesta. And I didn't realise it until just when we were leaving, but that was actually another creation of Cesar Manrique. Where are we going? We are going to Famara Beach, which is like the surfing capital of Lanzarote now. I can see why this is the surf beach. Those waves look Those nuts. Waves. Seems like most people are set up behind these things. So that's what we're gonna do. Look at the busiest beach we've been to. Super hazy as well. And that is the end of our day. It was very hazy, so the sun no just sunset. disappeared mm. like behind a cloud. But we didn't have sunset, but we got floopy azuka. <laughs> these no, these are zebra floopy. Zebra floopy. <laughs> so we stopped by Lidl, and they have these thing called floopies, which we think is just a donut. They're called zebra floopy or floopy zebra. So cool. So we're gonna eat these, but. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, please leave it a like and consider subscribing down below. Remember, we've got a whole Ding. playlist of Lanzarote videos either out or coming. So watch them too. Thank you so much for watching. Big love. Mm -mm. And it feels good around here. Five stars. Surf's up, dude.